A geographic region is defined as a combination of cultural, economic, historical, political, and environmental features. Geographers create world regional maps to help visualize the differences between countries. Unfortunately, these maps are often deeply flawed and sometimes have nonsensical groupings due to their subjective nature. Should Russia not be grouped with Ukraine and Belarus? Should Afghanistan and India really be in the same group as Japan? In order to reduce bias and re-examine conventional wisdom, a world regional map was created using the data from the Country Similarity Index. It defines regions by considering a multitude of different factors, including demographics, culture, politics, infrastructure, and geography. Unlike most regional maps created in the past, which have been produced by geographers based on their own finite knowledge and prejudices, the Country Similarity Index is a more rigorous, statistically-based approach to this extremely complicated task. A hierarchical clustering of the data resulted in nine distinct macro-regions and 27 sub-regions. The North and Australasia, Central and South America, Middle East and North Africa, Sub-Saharan Africa, Central Asia, South Asia, East Asia, Southeast Asia and the South Pacific. Let's review the findings and see how they compare to most conventional maps. Region 1, the North and Australasia. Unlike most other regional maps of the world, the Country Similarity Index map unites the entirety of the European continent, United States and Canada, and Australia and New Zealand. Most maps divide up the Western world into North America, Europe, Russia and Australasia. This is sensible since they are located in vastly different parts of the world. However, the Country Similarity Index recognizes that despite their geographic distances, on a global scale the majority of their traits are quite similar to their European roots. In these countries most people have Caucasian ancestry. The majority natively speak Indo-European languages and use the Latin alphabet. They are also mostly Christian although many are not particularly religious anymore. Even their typical diet consists of wheat and potato-based starches, unlike other areas of the world. Furthermore, countries in this region have more developed infrastructure than average. They also tend to have well-educated but aging populations. On a global scale, the differences between European countries are actually quite small in comparison to other areas of the world. Since many textbooks are written by Western academia, the differences between European countries seem to be exaggerated, while the differences between other parts of the world are often oversimplified and underappreciated. Region 2 Central and South America Like most other regional maps of the world, the Country Similarity Index defines Central and South America as a distinct region. Although there are some maps that break up Central America and South America into two different regions, However, the index indicates that a better break might be between the Latin American countries and the countries that were colonized by Great Britain and the Netherlands around the Caribbean Sea. One way that the index differed from most conventional maps is its treatment of Cape Verde and Mauritius. At first glance, it is understandable that most maps group these countries in with Africa since they are islands not far from the main continent. However, other than their location, the defining characteristics of Cape Verde and Mauritius are closer to those of Caribbean islands than sub-Saharan African countries. This is because Europeans brought slaves and indentured servants to these lands. As a result, their people speak Creole languages based on their colonizers' respective native languages. Furthermore, the economic situation and infrastructure on these islands is much better than in most sub-Saharan African countries. What is fascinating about Mauritius is that Trinidad and Tobago turned out to be its most similar country, according to the index. This despite being over 13,000 kilometers away. Both these countries used to be British colonies. A large portion of their population is made up of the descendants of enslaved Africans, as well as indentured servants from India. Region 3 Middle East and North Africa Most conventional maps combine the Middle East with North African countries. However, there is some question over whether Sudan and Mauritania should be included as part of this region. A few maps show Sudan and Mauritania as part of North Africa as well. 
The data shows the Sahel is a sub-region with traits of both the Middle East and Sub-Saharan Africa, so it might be better to group all of the countries in the Sahel region as a unique transitional zone between these two regions. Their people have more phenotypic traits of the Sub-Saharan African population than the Middle Eastern population. In addition, Sudan and Mauritania are significantly less wealthy than most countries in the Middle East, and their infrastructure is not well developed, so they more closely align with Sub-Saharan Africa. However, most people in Sudan and Mauritania are Muslim. They also natively speak varieties of Arabic, so they share many traits with most Middle Eastern countries. Region 4, Sub-Saharan Africa. Sub-Saharan Africa is a relatively well-defined region. Almost all maps separate Sub-Saharan Africa from North Africa since they have significant demographic and cultural differences. However, unlike most conventional maps, one country that the index grouped with Sub-Saharan Africa is Haiti. Although it is located in the Caribbean Sea, it has many characteristics in common with Sub-Saharan African countries. It was colonized by France and the majority of its people have African ancestry. It also has extremely poor infrastructure and a disproportionately young population. On the other hand, its people natively speak French Creole, not languages belonging to the Niger-Congo family of languages like most African countries. Its population is also mostly Catholic like most Latin American countries, so it could be grouped with the Central and South American region as well. Region 5 South Asia South Asia is a region that appears in almost all conventional regional maps. India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh and Sri Lanka are always included in it. However, the Country Similarity Index places Pakistan as a mixed region between South Asia and the Middle East. It has traits of both regions. Like other Middle Eastern countries, Pakistan is mostly desert. Because of its climate, unlike other South Asian countries, its predominant crop is wheat, not rice. Urdu uses the Nastalik script, not an Indic script like in all other South Asian countries. Since Pakistan is a predominantly Muslim country, it has extremely conservative laws. Alcohol and same-sex relations are prohibited for Muslims there. Region 6, Central Asia. Few conventional maps define Central Asia as its own unique region. Some geographers group this region in with Russia, while others group it in with the Middle East. However, the data from the Country Similarity Index supports treating Central Asia as its own unique region. It is a transitional zone between Europe and the Middle East. Although the region is predominantly Muslim, Central Asia is more secular than the Middle East due to the history of their governments being influenced by Russia and Europe. Not only is there debate to whether it should even be its own region or not, the countries that make it up are not always consistent. Most of the time, Mongolia, Turkey and Azerbaijan are not included as part of Central Asia. Turkey is an especially difficult country to put into a specific region. It is at the intersection of Central Asia, Europe and the Middle East. Most often, geographers group it in with the Middle East. However, the data supports Turkey being classified as a Central Asian or even a European country more than a Middle Eastern one. Perhaps before Ataturk's reforms, Turkey did make more sense to be grouped with the Middle East. However, Turkey has many differences that distinguish it from most Middle Eastern countries. Turkish is now written in the Latin alphabet and its language is highly related to the other Turkic languages spoken in Central Asia. Furthermore, its legal system uses civil law, not Sharia law. The sale of alcohol is not restricted and polygamy is criminalized. In addition, abortion is also not as restricted in Turkey. From a geography standpoint, Turkey's climate is not as hot and dry as many Middle Eastern countries as well. Region 7, East Asia. East Asia is one region that is relatively well defined, although some maps lump Southeast Asia in with it. Conventional maps always include China, Taiwan, Japan, Mongolia, North Korea and South Korea as part of East Asia. However, the data from the index suggests that including Mongolia is a big mistake, since it has more traits in common with Central Asia. The Mongolian language and the Turkic languages of Central Asia share some similarities. Furthermore, Mongolia currently uses the Cyrillic script, like many countries in Central Asia. 
Even the origins of traditional Mongolian script come from the West, not the East. Mongolian cuisine is more similar to other Central Asian countries than the core East Asian countries. The Mongolian diet is heavy in beef, lamb and wheat products. Unlike East Asian countries, they don't eat a lot of rice or seafood. Although Mongolia was never part of the Soviet Union, like most Central Asian countries, its railroads use the Russian gauge and its electrical grid is even interconnected with Russia's. Furthermore, Mongolia's dry climate and landlocked geography is more in line with Central Asian countries. While East Asian countries are densely populated, Mongolia is literally the least densely populated in the world. So why is Mongolia being consistently grouped with East Asia? One reason may be that Mongolia does not border other Central Asian countries, so geographers might be biased against grouping it in with them. Another problem is that Central Asia is not even recognized as its own distinct region on many maps. A further factor might be that Mongolia does have a few traits in common with East Asian countries too. It is mostly Buddhist, although its people practice Tibetan Buddhism, not Mahayana Buddhism like other East Asian countries. Mongolians have mostly East Asian ancestry, not mixed East Asian and Caucasian ancestry like many Central Asians. However, the country of Bhutan is similar in all these respects, but is almost never grouped with East Asia, so there is clearly some inconsistency. Region 8 Southeast Asia Southeast Asia is another region where there is little debate about which countries should be included. However, it is a little surprising that no maps divided Southeast Asia between mainland Southeast Asia and Southeast Asia's insular nations, since there are massive cultural differences between them. All of the countries in mainland Southeast Asia are predominantly Buddhist, while the people in the islands of Southeast Asia follow Abrahamic religions. There is also a split in the writing systems used, as most mainland Southeast Asian countries use Indic scripts, while countries in the islands of Southeast Asia have largely adopted the Latin alphabet. In fact, if the Country Similarity Index's data divided the world up into 10 macro groups instead of 9, then they would have been considered different regions. Region 9 South Pacific Another aspect where the Country Similarity Index regional map differs from most other regional maps is its treatment of Oceania. Most maps group Melanesia, Polynesia and Micronesia in with Australia and New Zealand. Australia and New Zealand are the largest land masses in proximity to the South Pacific region, but there are truly extreme differences between them. Australia is mostly desert, while countries in the Pacific Ocean have some of the highest rainfall totals in the world. The people in Australia and New Zealand are mostly of European ancestry. They are also wealthier and have more years of education. While English is the official language of most countries in the South Pacific, most of its people do not speak English natively. Austronesian languages are commonly found in this region instead. Although most people in Oceania are Christian, Australians and New Zealanders are far less religious. Their diets are significantly different as well. The consumption of coconuts and seafood is much higher in Melanesia, Polynesia and Micronesia. Another big difference is their laws. The laws in the islands of the South Pacific are far less liberal. Most do not allow same-sex marriage or the possession of pornography. Furthermore, abortion is much more restricted. Due to these large differences, Australia and New Zealand should at least be treated as a separate region from the South Pacific region. By combining the logical insights from the Country Similarity Index with the traditional regions defined by many geographers, an improved world regional map has been created. This simplified regional map of the world has 12 distinct regions with a few countries, like Sudan and Pakistan, that are split between two different regions. So what improvements to world regional maps would you make? Please like and subscribe to the Objective Lists channel as there will be even more interesting videos coming soon. For more insights and analysis please visit objectivelist.com for new and thought-provoking articles about our world.